Hi, my name is Marshall Dickens. I used to be a scholar and a great fighter. My job, my passion, was finding lost artifacts. They used to praise me, now they resent me. They call me a monster. This is my story. Cat? Cat? Land in sight. Right before we set ashore to meet up with the person that was going to lead us to the artifact, I suddenly had a blast from the past. The Fight Academy. Ah, those were more simple times. Here is where I learned to fight and hone my skills. It's also where I met many of my friends and a few crew members as well. Charles, Robert and I spent most of our time here. We would fight for hours on end without even realizing the sun had set. If I could just go back to those days, life would be much easier. Robert would teach me a lot about close combat. And Charles, well, Charles was special. After those memories faded, me and my crew went to the Oblivion Gate to meet up with a local fisherman who was going to be our guide. Hello, fading. Our Hello. goal was to find an ancient forest sprite mask. The fisherman Luca G gave me the map with the directions to the artifact, as well with a warning. After countless weeks, months, we found it. There was a small bridge leading to some sort of shrine. I still don't understand how that bridge was floating, but that's the least unusual thing that I was going to see. I took the mask and immediately had this feeling that I had to put it on. Then it was too late. I couldn't get it off. My own body forced me to dance and I went straight into the shrine. It was terrifying and also a bit intriguing. I had to get out of there fast. I started to run, hearing all these voices in my head. started talking. Kill him. Kill them all. <laughs> While the insanity grew, I felt I was losing the battle with my inner demons. Until finally, Marshall Dickens had faded. It made me do horrible things. I broke into a few of my comrades' houses, itching to kill them. But they could not see me. 
all they felt was the unease of someone watching. Then came my first kill, Ultriel. I'll never forget. Hey you, hey, hey. Hey man. You gotta help me. My real name is Marshall Dickens. This mask, it got me and it's old man. It's telling me to kill you. Run man! Run! Run, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! After murdering a few, I would calmly stare at the horizon, feeling some sort of comfort. But because of my suspicious and antisocial behavior, the townsfolk soon realized I had something to do with the break-ins and murders. I became a hunted animal, constantly running for my life. Dodging spears and weapons, life wasn't easy back then. Many bounty hunters came for the price on my head. Many friends tried to help. I killed Luca G, the fisherman that helped me in the past. And it felt good. Even Charles tried to come to my aid. He wounded me forcing me to go into hiding. I'm so thankful I didn't kill him. There was one woman named Duska, who used to be a colleague at the university. She was the only one who still saw a man in the monster that I became. She helped me kill other people in order to lessen my blood thirst. Together we found an old witch's letter explaining where we would find the answer to the curse. The townsfolk called it the ancient tree of rebirth. As I got close, the voices became the loudest they've ever been. But once inside, they stopped. The tree spoke to me. It told me in order to lift the curse, I had to kill my oldest friend, Robert. I didn't want to do it, but when flowers started to grow out of my body, I knew if I didn't, I was going to change forever and I couldn't claim any more innocent lives. So I ran to the fight academy during the night and hid there. When sunrise arrives, I would kill Robert. I snook up on him and ended his life with a blow to the head. Charles was watching shocked at what I had become. I was freed from the mask and started running to my house, although the freedom didn't feel as good as I thought. To this day, I still wear the mask. Not because I'm under its spell, but because of the shame and regret I have to live with every day my humanity, my honor, had faded a long time ago.